everybody too is a very exciting one because we're gonna give a major update about the development of the land and also quickly sorry about the background noise I want to show you what's happening outside where we're living right now there's a major construction about a new port for Darwin I'll show you All construction here. So you can see here in the background there used to be a massive beautiful tree and now it's all been flattened and it's a three year project so I'm very happy we're building our house now <laughs> because there's a massive construction going on here for a very long time this whole area it's good for Darwin it might create a good dive site over there because there's a lot of current so it's a positive thing, I would say. So I am extremely happy <laughs> that we are moving out of here. This year for sure. Every day, <laughs> like I said. <laughs> We made it up in the land and we're gonna show you some major updates what's going on now and uh, we brought two things with us today uh, every Friday or Saturday we're gonna bring up like uh, you know bakery stuff meal for lunch for the boys the hard workers and I also brought my big lens so we're gonna try to spot the Falcons and the Eagles flying around and then we've also been seeing these gorgeous green, blue, yellow, red birds flying around here, just in the, in the trees here in the bushes. The steel bars are in, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine posts so far. There's 24. Yep. Not even halfway there. I don't know, I, I'm out of words because as you can see this, I can see the progress already. So yeah, I'm it, excited. It's fast now, huh? It's super. And today is March 24th and by the end of the month, all the posts are going to be up. And these steel bars, they are 16 millimeters, so that is really thick. <laughs> Because of the wind, it's always windy here. But it's not like wind we have back home in Iceland, 50 knots of wind or something. This is just a, like a steady, beautiful, comfortable breeze. Ah, it's so nice. And here we got uh, gravel and sand. This is the same material we're gonna use for the road where there's only dirt now. So step by step, we're gonna bring, bring up trucks of uh, these ones. If you're interested, one truck of a uh, load like this is usually around 4,500 pesos depending on what type of material. So you can get like a really high-end gravel ascent but uh, not really necessary. Wow. Like, we were, were here last week, it was not like this and it's <laughs> so fast. Maybe because we have already electricity for oh, yeah. in our neighbor. Exactly. So it's getting fast, them to cut it. Remember the last time they were doing it manually. So now they mean so now they have a machine. Zoop. Yep. I'm imagining already. And you go inside to the door and then the up island street. Right away. Perfect. 
You guys have heard me many times that I believe a lot of things happen for a reason in life and uh, there's a period in my life back home that I worked in construction for almost uh, one and a half year and we were building these uh, four plus floors uh, condominium units so we I mean there was so much of binding the steel I used to do a couple of months of that and then I was doing a lot of cement work and then the finishing polishing inside of a house so all the walls are smooth and uh, perfectly done so that knowledge is kind of an advantage for me now because I'm really able to observe the quality and the work even though I trust uh, our engineer and the team I've seen their product so far they built for example a lot of the uh, resorts here and uh, massive houses so the work is phenomenal but it's just good to have that extra bit of knowledge about construction work from uh, back in the day for me so yeah it'll be nice to observe here is actually from coconut trees the tree of life so that tree is probably the most important tree in the Philippines for the economy and everyday of life it produces the beautiful coconuts for the coconut oil the drinks and then it's also for construction but of course once a coconut tree grows too big they usually fall so it's no problem cutting it down and replanting you just gotta make sure you got your certificate able to cut them so there's few trees in the country you actually need like a clearance to chop them down you can't just cut them down without a clearance and each post is gonna have a box shaped frame around the post that's gonna be like the uh, main foundation stability for the post and uh, what's gonna happen here is they're also gonna build a wood wall and then this whole section is gonna be filled with uh, rock and uh, cement of course so they are extra stable of course super strength so we got 24 of those to go and that's going to be the main structural part of the house of course yeah that's for the beam yeah and the beam in the front we actually had two posts very close to each other and there's more there yeah so those two posts that's going to be the the windows on the left side for the big window area because that roof is going to be very heavy and uh, we only have maximum amount of space to for the uh, to get approved for the structural part so that's very important wow your first dump in the land Jake. <laughs> that's what <laughs> it's pretty hot jake how are you handling the temperature <laughs> That's your new friends, Jake. Soon. <laughs> I know. He Not yet. You will be able to play with them. Not now. Not now. Okay? <laughs> so he wants to go. So all of this here in the background, this is going to be our garden or fruit trees area because it's in the creek and close to the where the water is. So this is good. the soil here should be a lot more moist. So this will be a perfect spot for a couple of fruit trees. And then of course here in the background this is all gonna be our uh, vegetables that need like a greenhouse slightly less sun and originally we were gonna start planting it now because we have the water but we're gonna listen to our neighbors and uh, probably start planting trees in June because then we should be able to have some uh, rains every now and then so in the meanwhile we'll just plant the trees at home 
and uh, get the seedling growing. More supplies. Trucks coming in every day. This one is loading more steel bars. Check us out. Ooh, 16 millimeter. Good one. to chew that break the branches <laughs> natural toy jig we are in a perfect shape now yeah. right. that's a good one so we're gonna make like a small fence around the front of the property with the grassy area so every time he needs to go out we just let him out I'll set the bag too here in the front. All yeah, the way. maybe in the back as well. Because I want Jake to feel like freedom. Freedom can go around. If we live by the beach, we can't let him go. There's so many dogs, so many people. So there's no freedom for Jake, unfortunately. Here, he will have a, such a good life. Shut the day before it look like to have our view now. We are sitting somewhere like. That's the view. Don't fall! <laughs> It's simply amazing being here in the Philippines because right now we are sitting on grass. Yep. And back home, I get allergy like crazy with grass and vegetation. I sneeze, I can't even be outside sometimes. It's so bad. But here in the Philippines, everything is green, everything is blossoming all the time, but I get no allergy at all. We have a neighbor. Yeah. That's crazy, huh? Look at these dogs. Oh, hey. <laughs> bye bye. You have another dog there. Bye, how are you? Bye. 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 Right now we got extra steel bar already done and then the 400 bags of cement. This is our storage room. All full of cement now. All right, we're gonna wrap it up now. Uh, been a beautiful day, a lot of things underway. Hey, hey, hey Jake, don't go, don't go, stay here. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, in a couple of days, I'm going to Singapore and then I check on the boat. We. Oui. Oh yeah, Shirley will be joining me to Singapore. But uh, I'll go first check on the boat for two days. We got about 15 posts down out of 24. 
and then by the time we get back here in April 3rd we will have a ceremony sort of a blessing I have no I mean I've seen a lot of them in Philippines whether that's done with cars boats you name it it's, it's a very big tradition so we're gonna do that as well so we'll have maybe a lechon with the guys mm -hmm. and uh, we'll sleep overnight here but it has to be done on like on a high tide so a lot of things involved in that and also um, the, the full moon coming full moon oh yeah and we have like a tarpaulin with uh, the building permit and all of that well uh, maybe we should speak about that in a different video but uh, it was an awesome day we spent like six hours here we loved it i think we're gonna make like a nipa house here or something so we can chill under the sh shade uh, yeah we just enjoy being up here I like it too. I love it. I was actually I was about to sleep if there's something <laughs> yeah. <you know>? hammock. <laughs> yeah. And then hopefully we start planting some stuff here very soon. Yeah, I was thinking that too. So now I'm gonna research more about the materials that I needed for my greenhouse. Yes. Awesome. Like for example, we learned about my friend has a Rottweiler, and he feeds them only like a local. Uh, potatoes we yeah, ate the, the other day so Finn and I was talking about last night that we might gonna change a food for Jay get more about into a uh, natural way maybe Absolutely. squash mm. calabasa potato much better yeah we have the land to do that that's for sure especially that believe it or not the expenses of Jake is so expensive especially his food <laughs> yeah lucky dog yeah all right guys until next time Peace out!